Woohoo! Surgery day. You excited? Pretty much. Did you fill out your last will and testicle? Oh my god. <laughs> Thought of that last night. Pretty good, huh? Okay, let's see how your teeny tiny little ball is there. Let's see, I'm gonna just show you with my hand where we're gonna cut to get that little cancer ball out of there, okay? It is cancer? No, it's, we don't know that. That was a Freudian slip. I'm sorry. We do not know that yet. Oh my god. Worry not. Oh man, that god is a teeny tiny little ball. It's one of the smallest I've ever felt. Wow. Down there. Hairy. Very hairy. Um, is there any pain or pressure when I feel like right in there in the taint area? Um, no. Are you, um, are you gonna operate on the taint area? No, I just like to give that a good feel. So I like to get in there a little bit, see what's up. And the good news is your, your healthy testicle is in really beautiful, it's really beautifully shaped. Thank you. Okay, we're also gonna be inserting a, um, a new silicone testicle for you. Now I saw that you wanted to get the one that's shaped like the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, okay, that's a joke, we don't have those. I don't know who told you that, but that is a lie. The thing is, do you wanna get like one that matches your teeny tiny little ball like it was before or? Because I think I can have Betty go in this, this stock room because we have a child's medium back there, I think one of the drawers. Well, no, I mean, if we're gonna do it, let's really do it. Like large? Yeah. And Easter egg it up? Yeah. Okay, heck yeah. Let's do that. And it, here's the thing, it has a warranty, for real. It has a warranty in case you something happens, in case it breaks or it doesn't work, you know, you're like tired of it. Is this another one of your jokes? It's actually not. Even though my jokes are great, that is not a joke. But the thing is, also not a joke, it comes with, this is new, they start putting serial numbers on them. On your little, your little ball, your little implant. So that way, if you get, you know, life goes on, you get murdered, you get horribly mutilated, they can actually identify your body by the serial number on your ball. Wow, well, here's hoping I don't get mutilated. All right, now I'm all set down there, and now I'm gonna give you something. Anesthesiologist is gonna give you a little something to make you feel less nervous, okay? Oh, oh whoa. Mm-hmm, right. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Did you get a lot of rest last night? Well, not really. My boyfriend had a surprise party for me and he called it a ball. Funny, I like that. That's like one of my jokes. That's good. How was it? it was I guess a... my invitation got lost in the mail. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I was very, I was busy last night with my wife. Who came? Who was there though? Great guest list. You don't need those testicles. You don't have to have balls to be a man. Maybe facial hair. Tom Selleck. My mom had cancer. I'll talk to HR and see if we can't get you some kind of extended medical leave. You don't need no balls. I, I know it's a big deal and it's really scary. And I love you. Bye girl, bye, it's been such a pleasure being your beautiful testicle. You make sure you cut that nasty lump out because she's such a nightmare and just, she's gorgeous, but she's a nightmare. Get rid of her, kill her. Murderer, how dare you excise me? No, please, I love you. Where am I gonna go? The trash? All right, you feeling those meds yet? Yeah, okay, good. Now when you wake up, you'll have one last lump one brand new shiny silicone implant, and we will know whether or not you got cancer. Well, what are we? What are we going to do if it is cancer? All right. What I want you to do now is just lay back there and uh, relax well, wait. and start counting backwards with me, okay? Wait, wait. What? If, what if Ten, it's cancer? Ten. What if it's cancer? Nine. Eight. All right. He's out. Could you hand me the scalpel? Go deball this motherfucker like a fucking fish fillet. on drugs or dreaming or dead? No, no, you're not dead. I am your fake testicle implant. Yeah, <laughs> but don't worry, I'm like gorgeous. A little chemo? I don't, I don't think I can be alive and be bald. Okay, that's very, very offensive. A lot of people are bald, okay, and they live happy lives. My wife is one of those people, my wife is bald. Um, 